I'm Yael Davids. I'm an artist and feeling a practitioner since four years and I'm also active in a community center around my studio. I think the idea was because I, I felt like as a practitioner and I realized that there's a parallel between the, a dynamic of pe a motherhood, power dynamic and a dynamic of people who come to me to take treatment in feeling Christ. And this power structure was quite striking for me because in a care, you never talk about the power that the care you have. I started working with this materials also with the idea of the bandage. I was looking at this power structure as a Feldenkrais practitioner, I realized that it's actually quite power structure between me who take care of someone and somebody who came for, with pain or needed an, a treatment or a lesson. And I was striking that this very parallel to the power structure I have as a mother with my daughter. So this, I, this power structure and me as a dominant, as mother and as a caretaker, I was interested in it. Um, and then when I started working on this, on this installation the there was 7 october and then there was the, the genocide in gaza from israel and as somebody who grew up in israel it was very difficult to me to avoid um, talking about it or touching upon it um, so the whole installation trying with kind of with a very essential element somehow to talk about or priority was to create a space here a space that people could not look at art by experience failing cross lesson and take care of themselves. So this was a challenging to create something that looked rather aesthetic or have a sort of aesthetic touch within the idea of creating a space. So there come the idea of the walls, of course, and the textile, this was the most simple textile, but also it has to do with bandaging and like when you have a wound. Glass for me has to do with my background, uh, where I grew up in a kibbutz, where glass, there's a glass factory that became actually a weapon. All the settlements, all the checkpoints are covered by this glass factory. And I was always interested because I grew up in a very socialistic, idealistic uh, society in a kibbutz, which turned out without noticing into a militaristic instrument. So all this, I'm very interested always in this paradigm between protection and being defensive and, become, and turning into an aggressor. So hopefully, there is something here and that touches on it. In order to have a Feldenkrais lesson, one of the most uh, elementary and basic thing is to create a space that you can line. And so I was looking for a way to bringing mattresses into the space. I visited a friend in uh, Madrid, Pablo, who introduced me to Amalia. And they worked, it's a communal area, working collectively. They worked with the wool from the ships, but ships for cheese and milk. And this wood is usually not used. And they looked for all kinds of solutions, hats, balls, and I thought, oh, this, this should, be, should be working perfectly for Feldenkrais. What they did, it was the first time actually that they tried to do these mattresses. And for me, it was very important that this, this production will be in a very ethical way, which are, because I understood that people without paper produce it and that it kind of bring the body back into the space. The body. To start with, I will give a lesson demonstration with my daughter, Tara J. She's 15 years old, and that's also kind of inspired by this lesson. And this lesson will be around breathing, to bring her back to the essential of like integrating with the world, which we breathe in and out. So there is this idea that you take air inside you, you filter it and you take it out. And then this is kind of the moment I do more performance and demonstration. But for me, it was very important to create an infrastructure to have a kind of routine of school in the museum. A routine of every week lessons, they will be here every week, and it's very important to me. It's local teacher, local public will come here, and actually I'm trying not to control what they're doing, because I think this is giving, I create the floor for people to make a kind of meeting point and learning point. So for every lesson I give, which is more, usually it's with collection, I develop a chart, which is a diagram for me to study what to study the material. The material is the lesson, but also the theme, how and the text and also the text of the demonstration always come from the body. So I'm making lesson and then I think, ah, OK, that's what it is about. I'm trying to kind of have an inward gaze into the structure. Feldenkrais is all about the structure and how we can rely on the structure. Therefore, also, this installation is very much structure oriented, less kind of something you know, like tied up to look at, but more 
to have a structure to hold the space. 